ओम तारे तू तारे तू रे हे सोहा ओम तारे तू तारे तू रे हे सोहा ओम तारे तू तारे तू रे हे सोहा But it's very really pleasant that you all can be here today. Uh, anniversary of anyone that we love and respect is a very ancient st story and tradition of practice of respect and dignity of any tradition that is meant to endure. It endures lasts only if uh, faithful followers or practitioners honor and remember those great beings. This 16 Arad Puja honors the Buddha and uh, his closest 16 disciples who are all arhats who all asked by the Buddha to remain in the world not to go into nirvana for the benefit of the city because they are the earliest dharma protectors and disciples of the Buddha and they are said to said to not only remain in these various sites they are chosen and and appointed by Buddha to remain but also they have the they have power and blessings to come where practitioners gather to honor uh, uh, days like uh, today, today's. The purpose of this gathering is to reflect and uh, instill the faith and devotion we may have experienced by having the good karma to meet realized masters like His Eminence Yogi Tijirambache. And uh, so therefore our memory is very short. Uh, people tend to forget, particularly when someone disappears, uh, people can forget. And uh, the, the legacy of uh, Buddhist lineage masters, like that of His Eminence Shogi Tijin which is not about how much you have connection to, but how much he has connection to everyone. Sense of connectedness, or interconnectedness with everything. So not just him and me, but with everything. And that's kind of given me something to breathe in when I now do my calm abiding. <laughs> I breathe in His Eminence. Lucky, lucky enough to have given a speech in His Eminence's presence at Seba's opening in 2006. As we know, he <coughs> left us only months later. The most important thing that His Eminence showed me is that at the end of the day, the true blessings are the ones that come from within. Thank you. Years old, I joined the Nalanta Monastery for 16 years and I study in Nalanta Monastery. And uh, yeah, we, we haven't met. Uh, that's and to get you to machine, but we got the pictures. We every morning pray for a long life prayer. Met Shoki Trichin 40 years ago in a dream without having any idea who it was, but that completely changed my life to fulfill that dream, what the dream embodied. The person in it, I didn't know who it was. Um, following that dream brought me here eventually, and I didn't actually recognize Shoki Trichin until I saw an old photo of about 17 or something, like a white one on the wall. But at that point it didn't matter because it's what he embodied that mattered. Tadak said, what would you, you know, like to say? And I said, tell him I love him. 
That's <laughs> all they came out. So tell him I love him. And as you know, I sort of bowed down and he touched my head and did a prayer and Rinpoche had translated and told him what I had said. And he thought that warranted another blessing. So I had a second blessing. So he touched me on my head again and blessed me for a second time. And so that was wonderful. Shortly um, after, I think it was during the pilgrimage, Rinpochella was giving us a wonderful talk about his eminence and reflecting on, on his eminence. And uh, through one of his speeches, Rinpochella mentioned, oh, you know, his eminence, um, you know, he always says, what's this Westerners always saying, I love you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, there I was, you know, the only thing that I could say to him was, I love you, and you know, this is what he thinks of our love you. But of course, he, he, he of course knew <laughs> in which way I meant I love you. To a bit of stupor, because uh, his eminence had, uh, is one of the uh, highest lamas of Tibetan Buddhist tradition who has visited more than three times and ordained uh, many people and gave many empowerment teachings. And so building of that stupa will be in our project. Um, uh, all of you will be hosted. <laughs> Tare Tare Soha Oh